Good evening, internet friends. I'm Ryan, and this is Demos in the Dark, one of the most enigmatic and unobtainable fuzz pedals of my lifetime. Just got a reboot. Tonight, we are looking at the Spaceman Sputnik 3. Sputnik 3 is the newest iteration of the legendary all-Germanium Sputnik. It features vintage Soviet diodes and transistors. The Sputnik 3 incorporates features from previous editions and new functionality. The controls of the Sputnik 3 are very interactive and can drastically influence each other. Careful control adjustments can yield a massive range of sounds, and the natural sensitivity of Germanium circuit rewards experimentation. Drift mode transforms the Sputnik 3 into a menacing discordant beast as the signal becomes more and more corrupted. A cool feature of the Sputnik 3 is the ability to control the drift in either latching or momentary modes. Lastly, and importantly, the Sputnik 3 will be available in limited editions, as seen here, but also a standard edition that will be more affordable and more widely available. So let us deploy the Sputnik 3 into a mix. I am going to use it on multiple guitar tracks. I am going to use it on bass, and I'm going to use it on some synth. Next, I'm going to show you a few sounds on here that I really like, but rest assured there are tons more than I can show you in the limited amount of time that I have. All right, I am running a Nash T63 into a Benson Amps Monarch Reverb. Sounds like this. One of the things I want to show you here is a lot of my favorite sounds on this pedal actually come with the volume rolled just slightly off on my guitar. 
uh, when you're dealing with germanium fuzzes, and especially when you're dealing with something as responsive as the Sputnik, this these tools here play a huge part. So I'm just going to show you kind of a difference between how it can be really, really woofy all the way at 10. And then if I go down to something at like the equivalent of nine, it really tightens things up. <laughs> So this is a fuzz pedal, right? So uh, one of my favorite things to do is to turn the fuzz all the way up. It's the first thing I do when I pick up any fuzz pedal. So that is the range. The range is all the way up. Calibrates is a filter, and uh, we're running it uh, on the bright side here. What we have here is we have a, uh, a mids toggle, essentially. So to the left is scooped mids, and to the right is a flat curve. And uh, you can get some pretty gnarly stuff. <laughs> So the drift on here is a very cool and usable tool. It is not like a gimmick. It's usable, and I'm going to show you. So you control the drift here with the scan knob. So what I have done is I have moved the mids to a scooped mids. I have brought the range to about midway, and I'm going to warm up the filter a little bit. And uh, you're going to get, once we kick in that drift, you're going to get a very cool, gated, kind of velcro y kind of sound that I think sounds fantastic. <laughs> So as I mentioned in the intro, one of the really cool new features is the ability to control the drift in either uh, a latching or a momentary selector. And the way you access that is by holding down the drift button while you plug in the power. <laughs> Last thing I'm going to show you here is I, a lot of folks, myself included, really love using fuzz pedals as kind of overdrive sounds. And this will definitely do that. I have brought the range down quite a bit. I've boosted the signal. So there's actually a fair amount of volume on tap here. So that's actually going to be pushing the Benson a little bit. Uh, filter, uh, you know, I, I've warmed it up a little bit and uh, I'm keeping it on the scooped mids. And uh, keep in mind that I'm also, again, on a lot of this stuff, I have my volume on my guitar sitting around nine. <laughs>
say you have it, the Sputnik 3 from Spaceman. Uh, it sounds incredible. It sounds, it sounds as incredible as the one and the two, and it has cool new functions on it that I really, really enjoy. I'm really, really glad that they're offering a standard series as well so that those people who aren't, you know, don't respond to that email right away because, you know, like these things sell out in a flash, but that people will have an opportunity to own a Sputnik by buying a standard series. It's amazing. It's great. So on my way out, I'm going to crank everything up, probably run some of that drift. Drift. 